Here's my tutorial on the relimiting reactant FAKE2. So we're going to write out the information from up here in here as our reaction or our recipe. So we have limiting reactant. We can either make a certain amount with the cheese we've got, or we can make a certain amount of bacon double cheeseburgers with the tomatoes we've got. And it probably is not the same amount. And as a concept, I've been telling kids, okay, what if you had enough cheese to make 10 omelets, but enough eggs to make eight omelets? Well, you can only make the eight. When you made the eight omelets, you ran out of eggs. So you can never make the 10. The eight is possible. It's the smaller number that was possible always when you compare the two possibilities of products. It's the smaller number that's possible. Now, let's also assume for a minute that it was three eggs for every one omelet. If you made eight omelets, it takes three eggs and three eggs and three eggs eight times, right? So if you made eight omelets, you used three times as many eggs, you used 24 eggs. Proving the point that we can jump backward left from the product to the reactant. And we'll just use the ratio in this case, three over one. And that's how we got 24 eggs used. So let's put down what we know on 2A, 800 grams of cheese and 2,000 grams of tomatoes. And we're going to run a line of calculations and a run of line of calculations. And then the way I've been teaching it, we're going to pause at the dozens of product and compare. And remember, we're going to choose the small number. So I also drew my little train track here. And the stations, the little four stations, if we're going from grams to grams, we had to go through all the stations. So in this case, cheese is an A type because that's what I'm starting with. And tomatoes is another A type. And where I'm going in both cases is bacon double cheeseburgers. So that's type B. So I'm going from grams to dozens of type B, that's bacon double, and then I'm going to stop and compare, and I'm going to choose which number is possible, actually, in reality, possible. So I'm going to take grams of A. I'm going to go to dozens, where your going is on top. So dozens goes on top. Look up top. It's 240 grams per dozen. That gets me to this stop. I need to go from dozens of A to dozens of B, where your going is on top. So the type B, that's bacon double, goes on top. Type A goes on the bottom. And when we go from dozens to dozens or moles to moles with real chemicals, we use the numbers in the balanced reaction. Now, I know we didn't have to balance this, but this is our reaction, so to speak, for this time. So it's two bacon double for every two cheese. Also, we could say that the grams cancel out and the cheese cancels out now. So 800 divided by 240 times two divided by two is 3.33 dozen bacon double cheeseburgers possible if we ignore the tomato. We're ignoring the tomato just for a moment. So let's ignore that and let's talk about the tomato. If we used up all the 2000 grams of tomato, what could you make? Well, again, we're going from grams to dozens and that will make the dozens on the top, the grams on the bottom, and it's a thousand grams for the tomatoes. That will cancel out the grams here. And that gets me to station two here. And then I want to jump from type A, dozens of A, to B. Now, this is my type A, and bacon double is my type B. So bacon double goes on the top, tomatoes goes on the bottom, and that lets me cancel out the tomatoes. And we use the numbers in the reaction. So it's two bacon double over 0.5 tomatoes. Also, I did a little tutorial this way. How many halves can fit into a hole? It's two, right? How many half boxes can fit into a whole box? And the answer is two. But we had a half under two whole boxes, right? One and two. So this can fit in here twice, and this can fit in here twice. And so this is four, isn't it? Uh, two, two whole boxes over a half a box means that you can fit this in here four times. It can fit in twice here and twice here, and that is four total times. How many half boxes can you cram into two whole boxes? Twice here, twice here, and that is four. And we can add that up there. This is four in case that helps you somewhat.
So 2,000 divided by 1,000 times, remember this is four, gives me eight. Doesn't make in double cheeseburgers possible. Well, they can't both be possible, and we said the small number is the correct one. The big number is impossible, so I scratched that out so I won't use it. This one's possible, so assuming that I did everything correctly, this is how much I would make. And then I'm going to convert this to grams of bacon double, and I'm going from station three here to station four. And grams is where I'm going, so grams is on top. Dozens on the bottom. You can put a one there if you like. And it's 4,060 grams for every one dozen bacon double. And that cancels out the dozens to be picky there. And so this times 4060 is 13,532 grams of bacon double cheeseburgers. So that's my big answer number one. Now what's a little bit more tricky is the mass left over. So let me say this uh, little background information. This number is possible only if you use up all the grams of cheese. So how much of this is left when you make all that? And the answer is none of it. None of this is left over, it's all gone. However, remember we said we could make eight dozen bacon double cheeseburgers maybe with this amount? So we're making, 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 making a uh, dozen big double cheeseburgers and we hit 3.3 through three and we run out of cheese and it's over, it's over. Are you getting to eight? Nope. So what do you have extra of? We have extra tomatoes because we stopped before we used them all up, right? We would have had to make eight dozen bacon double cheeseburgers to use all this up. And we didn't make that, so we didn't use all this up. So this is the thing that we will have extras of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, what did you make? Remember we said the eight omelets on the back? We're gonna take, what did you make? This is the number I made. We're gonna write it here again. And we're gonna jump back to the thing that you have extras of and the ingredient. They gave you too much. The impossible amount is the thing that you'll have extra of. So we're going to jump back from the product using this number that we said we can make to the thing that we'll have extra of. And when we go from dozens to dozens, we're going back this way, kind of, aren't we? We use the numbers in the reaction. So we're going to get two bacon double and half a tomato. Except remember, we're going from here to there. So this is on top. That's on the bottom, that lets me cancel out bacon double. And that gets me back to station two, but I'm going back to station one because I want grams. Well, why do I want grams? So I can take the grams starting for tomatoes and subtract out the number used. That's what I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna get used grams. And then when I subtract, I can get grams left. So how many grams would this be? Well, whatever number this is, tomatoes, how do I convert from dozens of tomatoes to grams of tomatoes? Remember, we have this number here. We're going from dozens to grams. So grams is on top, dozens on the bottom. It's 1,000 grams. That lets me cancel out dozens here. So this times that divided by that times that gets me 832 and a half grams of tomato. And that is the used amount Everybody's made that mistake, including me. That's not left over, that's used up. Like we had 24 uh, eggs on the back used up. That was not left over, that was used. So this is the grams of tomato used up, which is why that goes there. And we subtract the used out of the starting grams and we get the grams of tomato left over.